welcome to our December Library and Book Club Book Picks. I, um, my name is Annie Phillips. I'm with the Downtown Library. And with me, I have Lady Smith, and she is the propri proprietor of Snail on the Wall Bookstore, our local independent bookstore in Huntsville, Madison County. And I'm going to turn the screen. I'm sharing with Amanda. She is another librarian at the Downtown Library. And we are all going to take a couple of minutes each to talk about books we're excited about in December. So uh, we've got them up on our slides so you can see and then any extras that we don't talk about, you'll still see them up here so you can get a, you know, add to your list. And uh, so I'm going to take it away with mine. Oh, and this is delightful. My screen always takes a second. <laughs> uh, Yay, fortunately I've mastered, uh, I can cut, cut and, you know, uh, the, the, the video. So uh, <laughs> I think I can stitch this together. Um, yeah, I sh you know, I knew I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I switch it. <laughs> Delightful. Well, while uh, we're waiting for the slide to manifest itself, I can go ahead and start talking about the two that I have picked. And uh, there's also three there that I've just threw up that I'm also interested in. The first one is an interesting, um, it's, it's a true, true crime story by Joseph Knox, but it's fiction. And the author features himself in it. Uh, so uh, it was one of those ones where I was like, okay, wait, is this fiction or not fiction? It's fiction, but featuring the author. And it's um, sort of taking on the whole, you know, true crime and, and that's become such a big uh, thing in our culture. And it's uh, set in Manchester, England in 2011, a young woman named Zoe Nolan walks out of her dormitory and never seen or heard from again. And uh, the case went cold um, and crime writer Joseph Knox featuring himself uh, wouldn't have given it any more thought, but his friend Evelyn uh, is also a writer struggling to come up with a new idea. And she's, um, she's thinking what, what happens, you know, when all these girls go missing, what happens to all the Zoe Nolans? And so she starts investigating, interviewing Zoe's family and friends, emailing Joseph with her findings. Um, and Joseph ends up embedding himself in the case. And um, so it just sounds like a fascinating take on the true crime, but making it fictionalized. So that'll be interesting. That comes out December 7th. The next one uh, is getting a lot of buzz already. It's called Beasts of a Little Land by Julia, Julia Kim. That also comes out December 7th and uh, sounds like a really kind of a, a historical saga. Um, it starts in 1917 in the snowy mountains of occupied Korea. Um, kind of one of those, uh, you know, fateful uh, interactions, a local hunter um, who is poverty stricken, saves a young Japanese officer from an attacking tiger and their fates are connected and things unroll for, from there. Um, in the aftermath, a young girl named Jade is sold by her family to a courtesan school. And that's sort of drawing on some of this history that, we, that we've learned about um, with Korea and Japan. And um, that puts her in the lowest social status and she meets an orphan boy um, and they form a friendship. And so he, they come of age they get swept into the revolutionary fight for independence. Um, and, you know, they must make decisions um, affecting their fate. And so it takes us from the courtesan school in Pyongyang um, to the glamorous cafes of a modernizing soul and the boreal forests of Manchuria. Um, it sounds just really lovely. And uh, like I said, it's gotten a lot of good buzz. So excited uh, to, to, to read that. And I'm going to see if maybe, possibly, nope, <laughs> sir, you'll have to take my word for it. Let me see if ladies will come up. Oh, dear. Okay. Yay. All right. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. That's Amanda's. Yes, we're going to Amanda next. Excuse me. <laughs> Yay. 
Yay, thanks, Annie. All right, to, so today for you guys, I have two nonfiction picks. You'll see that I don't have any extras today. December is a pretty uh, light publishing month, but I'm still really, really excited about these two. They're both gonna be released on December 7th. So the first one is Sea State by Tabitha Lasley. It's a memoir. And this is one of those that I heard an interview with the author way early on in the year and just the published date just kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed. So I'm so excited to finally see it uh, come out to us all. Um, it is about a woman, the author Tabitha Lasley, she quits her job and moves to Aberdeen, Scotland to start this idea of a book that she had to learn more about oil rigs and the men who live there really see what these, you know, masculine dudes, oil rig guys are like without any women around. See what that world is like. Uh, this is going to be for fans of Sally Rooney and Lisa Tadeo of all people. And that's because this turned out to be one of those books that starts out as one thing and develops into a whole other thing. She's in this world and starts to let loose. She's in her mid thirties and has just gotten out of um, a tough relationship. And she starts falling for one of these guys. And I don't know the specifics of their relationship, but it, it turns out to be partially about this world of generations of working class men, but also an intimate por a portrait of her own desire and experiences and personal relationships. So a really interesting blend of two different stories. And there's actually going to be um, a television show that's it's in development right now by the same people who made um, the normal people television show. So look out for that. The next book is called The Self-Care Year, Reflect and Recharge with Simple Seasonal Rituals by Allison Davies. I am so excited about this one. I had to pick this one directly from my personal reading wheelhouse. I love books about self-care. I love books about developing rituals. I love books about nature. So this one spoke right to me. It's one of those that you don't have to read front to back. Um, it's divided into seasonal sections. So whatever season it is, you can flip right to that section. And it's not very in-depth. It's more beautiful illustrations along with tips and tricks for how to be more present in the moment at that time of year. So you're going to find tips for better sleep and yoga positions and breathing and meditation exercises and simple craft projects. And it's for those people who are wanting to have a slower pace and really pay attention to um, the world around you. And like I said, beautiful illustrations. I got to see some samples. It's, it's a lovely book just to flip through. So check out both of those nonfiction selections on December 7th. Thank you, Amanda. Those look like awesome gift books, both of them. And I'm sure that they are ones that Lady is, has available. So I'm gonna turn that over to Lady um, and her picks. And oh dear, I hope this is it. <laughs> I don't know, the ghost, ghost in the machine. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's sort of, part. oh, there we go. Okay, let me move you up so we can see all of it. So Lady, I'm gonna let you talk about your books and everything that's going on with Snow on the Wall. Okay, great. Um, well, I will start with um, the Amanda Gorman collection of poetry called Call Us What We Carry. This has been, this has gone through so many changes this year. She is the, um, you know her name because she was the inaugural poet back in January, the youngest inaugural poet in history. She made a huge impression on everyone. And um, she's already had that inaugural poem released in a book called The Hill We Climb. And it's a great, we've got it in our store. It's a great little gift book. Um, and then she's had a picture book that came out in September called Change Sings. And it's a great um, picture book with pictures of her. And it's a poem about change. Um, and so this was scheduled to publish back in September. It had a different name and had a different price. It had it was shorter, and now it just kept expanding. And they they kept they. It's a good thing that they put it off because now it's a more complete collection. 
I haven't seen it, but I know it's going to be good. It's coming out December 7th. It's going to be a big holiday book. It would make a great bundle to kind of bundle all three. But she deals with history and identity and race and even the pandemic. And so it's just poetry of today um, and by a young person that I think is just someone that um, we're going to hear a lot from for many years to come. So we're excited about that one. And then... Um, publishing at the end of December, just in time for the new year and everyone's New Year's resolutions. This is the story of you. Ian Morgan Crome is um, a well known as an, an the Enneagram um, kind of expert. He wrote um, The Road Back to You that a lot of people have relied on for Enneagram advice. If you don't know about the Enneagram, I encourage you to learn about it. It is the, it's sort of personality types on a scale of one to nine. Um, it's very much in the culture right now. And it, for good reason, because it is, it really gives you a way to understand yourself. And my whole family has done the Enneagram test online and we kind of talk to each other and joke, but you know, we, it's a way to talk about our personality differences. Um, in a kind of easygoing way. Well, this is a new one that is just building on his previous book um, about the stories we tell ourselves from our past and how to rethink those in a more positive way. Um, I, I can't say for sure, but there is a strong possibility that we are bringing Ian Morgan Crone to Huntsville for an event in January. So all fingers are crossed on that. We're in talks right now. He lives in Nashville, so he's not so far. Um, so we're hopeful. So please go to our website, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll be sure and let everyone know if that happens. Um, in the meantime, and you'll see one other novel that we're excited about by an Irish author there, Bright Burning Things. But in the meantime, come shop our holiday bookstore pop-up at Roosevelt and Company downtown Huntsville on Clinton Avenue. We're set up in the loft there every day. You can shop every day from now through Christmas. So um, we've got lots of things for all ages and book bundles and you can shop online. So keep us in mind as a local source for books this holiday. Thank you so much, lady. And yes, I, I you, your service is impeccable. I've, I've ordered from you and gotten those wonderful book bag deliveries, and I'm looking forward to more. So, um, and I should get my Enneagram done. I should do it before uh, before Ian Morgan Crone comes. So that's uh, that's very exciting. Thank you. <clears throat> well, finally, and I'm hoping this slide will, you know come up in a good time. <laughs> it doesn't like me today. It's, uh, it's good with y'all. Well, I will go ahead and just talk about it. <laughs> we always end with our library and book club pick of the month. And this is just a book that we feel like, hey, you should read this. And um, this one is called um, The Ballerinas by Rachel Kapelke Dale. It also comes out December the 7th. I'm gonna try and do another quick nip. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a very pretty color cover with some, some ballerinas on it. But I love the um, the blurb is Dare Me, which is Megan Abbott. Uh, she's a good noir kind of um, mean girls writer. Uh, Dare Me meets Black Swan, if you've seen Black Swan, and Luckiest Girl Alive in a captivating voice-driven debut novel about a trio of ballerinas who meet as students at the Paris Opera Ballet School. And um, kind of goes back and forth in time. Um, the, the main character, Delphine, abandons her, her solo spot at the Paris Opera Ballet School. At the, I'm sorry, at the Paris Opera Ballet and goes to St. Petersburg and takes a secret with her. And now, um, you know, going ahead in time, they're, they're 36 and she has gone back to Paris and um, hopes to uh, become a choreographer. And she has to make things right with the two other friends. So it sounds like, you know, again, if, you, if you're familiar with Black Swan or any of these other things, it uh, sounds like a good sort of thrillery drama story of friendship and and I just love um I, I, I aside from taking ballet as like a little kid for a year I, I just love I think there's something you know all the sort of myth and and sort of the mystery and the um the rarefied you know feeling of of ballerinas especially in that higher 
um, you know, professional world is, is just fascinating. I think we all have a fascination with it. And um, so this sounds like it'll be a good uh, addition to, to all the books and movies and stories about, about that. So that's our LBC pick. And then uh, with the new year starting January, 2022, just, uh, you know, tune back in because we'll have lots of new books then and happy holidays and hope this helps with your, with your gift giving and thanks for joining us. So thank you, lady. And I'll turn to Amanda. Thank you. Yes. And we will see you again soon. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. <laughs> Very pretty book. <laughs> Bye everybody.